What is up guys, this is CH here from VillagePartMedia.com and today I'll be creating a whole new series of YouTube tutorials on HTML and CSS. Now this is really an introduction, beginner's course, so I'm, I'm actually kind of hoping you guys have little or no experience with HTML or CSS. So I'm thinking some of you out there might have heard of HTML5 or even HTML, XHTML or XML. But for right now, we're just going to focus on HTML. We'll, we'll get into more HTML5, XHTML, and XML in later videos. So for the time being, we're just going to focus on HTML and CSS, which is the HTML is the most common tag structure in the world. Pretty much every web page is built in HTML. And uh, when I think of HTML, I think of like a house before it's really built when just like the 2x4s are up. So it's just the structure and all your JavaScript and CSS is going to go to uh, create the rest of the house. So I don't know. That's just what I keep in mind. So what we're going to do is right now we need to get a text editor. And a text editor is not a word processor. We cannot use Microsoft Word to code to help build a website. This is Microsoft Word. This is not going to help us at all. What we need is a text editor. And for this video, I will be using text Mate. Now, TextMate is exclusive to OS X only. Text editors are kind of weird like that. Um, if you're on a PC, I highly recommend downloading Notepad++. It's going to give you Notepad by default, but Notepad++ is absolutely free, so I'll try to go through that real quick. So we'll just go to Notepad++. Uh, I'm in Chrome right now, but throughout the tutorials, I'll probably be using a bunch of different browsers. I'll use anything from Mozilla to Safari to uh, Opera, pretty much everything but Internet Explorer because I do not have, I am not on Windows. So, back to Notepad. You're going to click on Notepad++. Here's the download button. The newest version is 6.1.3. That looks pretty legit. I used to be on a PC and I love Notepad++, but... Again, I am on a Mac and it is not available to me. I will be on TextMate for the remainder of this video. And this is how you can tell that we are in a text editor because every text editor is going to have lines off to the left hand side to let us know how many lines of code that we are crunching. So, if you're on, first things first, there's no right or wrong. You know, people like Dreamweaver, people talk crap about Dreamweaver because it takes so long to open up. There's no right or wrong. It's all personal preference. Whatever you want to use, you're more familiar with. Stick to that because we're all going to have the same content on each one of our pages. And we're all going to be opening them and closing them the same way. So, check down that text editor and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.